Hi, and welcome to Random Topics with Ramesh. I'm George Williams. I'm Ramesh Gulati. George, thanks for inviting me. Let's do it another one. Awesome. Uh, in case you're unaware, Ramesh Gulati's best-selling book, Maintenance and Reliability Best Practices, is on its third edition. And today we're gonna randomly flip through and select a topic and I don't know, see if we can have a five minute conversation. Let me know when you're ready. You have been doing some back, let's do the from front. All right, from the front. Okay, let's go from the front. All right, here we go. Let's stop it. Whoa, that's early. Oh, probability of failure, proactive maintenance, correct. So here we're kind of defining it looks like we're risk-based maintenance, reliability center. We're defining different types of strategies, uh, different ways to address our maintenance proactively, how you address corrective maintenance. Let's pick one of these. Let's. I like risk-based. Let's talk about risk-based maintenance. Sure, let's do that. I mean, again, maintenance is risk management. The, if you think about it. it all of it is. is. All of it is That's right. managing risk. And risk-based maintenance is a more a in um but a chemical industry is a predominantly they use this word risk management yeah what this uh, looking is hey for doing something how much is costing what's the risk and should i do it not economically or not right i mean which is a uh, makes sense but again they call it risk-based ma maintenance so it's uh, just a you have to evaluate you know, what's it causing the problem? Economically, should I do? What should I do? So, like RCM is the same way. That's right. It is the similar thing. You are trying to evaluate each problem. Is it worth doing? You know, hey, that's that's why is a manage your risk. It, what's interesting is it's always for me is it, just because you can do an FMEA, just because you can do an RCM study, doesn't mean you should do an RCM should, study. That's right, yeah. And just because the RCM study says you could possibly engineer out the problem doesn't mean you should either, right? Yeah. There's a cost to doing that. Or to use predictive maintenance. Each of those, each of those outputs is evaluated for its risk and its cost. That's right. I mean, you take a, a blower fan. Blower fan in a furnace is very really important because it supplies air to the furnace where your oil or gas get mixed up and go like that. Now, you take another similar blower fan maybe in your bathroom or in some other place. Now, what's important is that blower both up down, which is you want to take more, right. you know, major. Hey, that equipment over there is definitely on the furnace is more important as compared to. Now, if so, in my economic analysis, if I do, if that blow find out in a bathroom or in a facility up somewhere, which is doing it just the circulation of air, I can let it fail. I, I can because right. I, it won't hurt me. It means it won't damage or cost me a lot more. I can, it can maybe half a day and fan is not there, it's not gonna hurt me. I can get this pair right. of blower or install it. But in that context, it's a lot more important. <laughs> so I better do something all the time on it, making sure it doesn't, you know, go bad. Right. So it's kind of, a, you're managing risk. That's what you're doing. And that's everything in maintenance. Everything yeah. we do is a balance of cost, risk, and business value. That's right? right, yeah. That's why we always say that reliability and asset management is for the sake of the business. It's not for the sake of the asset. That's right. You sake of Again, you are looking at it as well as the, the business, how much money it brings in. Yeah. The value you want to get from that asset. That's uh, right. To the business. And That's value right. can be financial, it can be risk reduction, it can be Anything. lots of things. Right? Lots, a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, you know, you brought up value. I'm part of ISO committee on 55,000, and value is a big subject. What's a value? And it's a different. It's a different perspective to different people what value means to them. Right. So that's what you have to value. Value means how much money we are making or how much is goodwill increasing or whatever is creating that value. Yeah, look, risk-based maintenance, even run to failure is yes. risk-based maintenance, right? right? You're yeah. just accepting the that's risk. Risk, that's right. Yeah. That, hey, 
I'm okay with so it. All maintenance should just say all maintenance then. All maintenance. Yeah, all maintenance. There's it's no a... more. So your your book's wrong. <laughs> 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 all maintenance is risk based maintenance. That's right. It's... We are taking. We have to evaluate what we're doing. This PM or condition based maintenance or ultrasonic. Is it making sense? Am I getting a value back? Right. Or what's the risk for? Yeah, yeah, and there and like you had mentioned earlier, there are certain industries, chemical processing, you know, things that are mechanical integrity related, That's right. where they take this approach uh, as a prescriptive measure to yeah. to figuring out their maintenance yeah, strategies. That's right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ramesh. You're welcome, sir.